here we are talking about colonization of beehives by spreading them uh, in the forest. When you spread beehives in the forest, you increase the rates of colonization. Because when you set hives in one place, a swarm can pass 20 meters away, 30 meters away, 200 meters away, and you will not catch that swarm. But when you spread them along the farm, or along the forest like this hive, you increase chances of colonization. Now, how is it done? With the colonization, by spreading hives around the, the forest, you first clean the hive, the hive body, then clean the entrances, make sure that at least a queen bee, the size of the pencil, the queen bee can pass. So you smoothen the entrance holes, then you bait it now. When you bring it on the site for sighting to, to trap a swarm of bees, you have to come with a ladder, you put it here. Now, you carry the hive. Normally, two people are better than one in this activity. So, you carry the hive. You suspend it up. Now, as you suspend, make sure the top bars are in good position. Because if they are in a bad position, the hive will colonize and then they start putting cross combs. Now, as you suspend, here we have used the Kenya top bar hive and we have wires. But some other people will use ropes. Now, you set this hive, make sure you monitor it. You monitor it on insects that may colonize the hive before a swarm enters. You also come and check whether it is uh, on a steady branch which cannot easily break. Make sure the wires are firm and they cannot easily break. So those are the monitoring precautions. Now, when chance gives you and it colonizes, you give it about two to three weeks. It will have constructed about four top bars or five. There you are free to remove it. Now, removing it, you come with a pulley system. You come with a ladder, remove it very well from there. You don't need to carry it on your head. Tie the rope on the two straps, the wires or the rope tying it. Remove it from the branch, then roll it down. You roll it down on a long rope, then it sits on ground. Then you're free to transfer it into the main apiary where you have stands. Now, this method is one of the methods of colonizing beehives. Normally in the forest, there are many bee populations, you know. The tree trunks, the hollow trees and in the ground, they are bee colonies. So these bee colonies, when they are looking for a nest, the scout bees will identify the smell of this baited hive and they come and colonize. Normally forests have, uh, like in nature, they, they harbor very many wild bee colonies. So you trap some of them as swarms and take them to your apiary.